Isla Palm City Council is looking at a unique way to support people in Western North Carolina that are still recovering from that storm. News 2's Katie Fong Fongsa joins us live and Katie, you spoke with leaders about their plans. What did they tell you? Erin, Carolyn, one council member is preparing to propose an ordinance for Isle of Palms to become a sister city with one in North Carolina. Clean recovery efforts continue for many North Carolina communities. Over one week after the massive storm hit, council members here on the Isle of Palms are recalling the support we got here in the Low Country when we were devastated by Hugo, saying now it's our turn to help. And we had a lot of needs and not many resources. I just think it's a way of giving back to a um, sister community that's having a really rough time right now. Ward is presenting a resolution for the Isle of Palms to adopt a sister city in one of North Carolina's hardest hit communities and assists in the recovery process. It's devastating and the news that we hear it gets worse every day and they're missing out on a great revenue stream at this point because of the fall foliage and people come from all over the country to enjoy the, the beauty of the mountains. Well, that's gone. The police department mobilized last week collecting supplies for those in need, but Ward says he hopes to do more. Just need a little bit of help. I'm not talking about monetary help. I'm talking about more of a shoulder to lean on, if you will, if we can help them in logistic issues, uh, like logistical things like uh, who to contact. The city's workshop will be held tomorrow from 5 to 6 p.m. Reporting on Isle of Palms, I'm Petey Fongongsa. Count on two.